Well, hello, and welcome back to Shane's Hobby Shop. Today, we got another unboxing to do. Yeah, that's right. It's another unboxing from Sensei. Now, this is a company that does LED security lights. I got a few of their lights already, and this is a different one. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Now then, before I open this up, it did come in a bigger box from Amazon. Because uh, when you order this, uh, it'll be shipped from Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can get this light and plus a few others from Sensei. But the box is just, all it shows is from Amazon. It does not show what's inside the box. But when you open it up, this will be inside of it, along with some packing to make sure it don't uh, jar around during shipping. All right, so inside this box, first thing you're going to see is a little congratulations card on it. Got a nice little read here. You open it up, and then you're going to have your little owner's manual here. It just talks about this light and a few others that they have. And then the actual light itself. This is it here. Now and then this is the Sensei LED security motion light. It is rated at 27 watts, which is the equivalent of 200 watt incandescent light and also a 70 watt halogen floodlight. The color is a 5000 uh, Kelvin, I guess you want to say, yeah, 5000 Kelvin, which is equivalent to daylight. Uh, it's a waterproof outdoor floodlight, and these here, and including the little motion light here, it actually swivels 180 degrees. Alright, it does cover 861 square feet when it is actually mounted at least 8 foot off the ground. The back side is all enclosed. You got your couple little wires, your hot, your neutral, and your ground, and that's basically the whole unit right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and look to see what the actual mounting hardware is. You got your little little packet here, different mounting hardware. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look what's inside here. Okay, in the, in the box you're going to get this little bag here. It's in a little Ziploc baggie. This is the parts to actually mount your hardware. Or should I say your light. Inside it, the very big deal here, this is your waterproof gasket. This is going to be mounted on, on the back side of the light next to the wall of your house or your garage to make sure everything stays watertight. Okay, next is going to be your bar shaped mounting plate. Has a little indention here on the back side of it. It comes with this plus two mounting screws and a little grounding screw. The grounding screw it has a green head on it so you know that it is for the grounding. You have three wire nuts. A little screw plug. This is going to be used after you finish the entire project. And then your mounting bolt. That's all it is in the, entire, in the entire package. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to install this on your house or your garage or wherever you like it to be at. Okay, right here where I got set up, just a makeshift wall. Obviously, this is not where I'm going to have my light at, but this is something that I can show you how to install this light and be a lot easier to do it here, right here, than it would be at the actual spot I'm going to be putting at. The tools you're going to need, well, here you go. The Phillips head screwdriver. That's all you need. Pretty cool, ain't it? Very simple. Alright, what you want to do first off, get your little mounting bracket. See that little nipple on the back I talk about? We're going to have that facing in to the box. So let's go ahead and mount that. You have your two little short mounting screws, not the one with the green cap on it, but the other one. Let's go ahead and mount this up onto our little uh, box, what do you want to call this? Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, simple as that. 
Okay, after you went ahead and got your mounting bracket on here, what you're going to go do now is get your waterproof gasket and get your light itself. Put the wires through one little cavity or a hole you got on your light. Now then you got a white, a green, and a black. Go ahead and match them up to your wires and I'll go ahead and use the actual wire nuts to put them together. You can also mount the, the, the neutral on the wall and the green here onto the little screw to your mount bracket or you can just use your little wire nut. So take the green, mount it to the wire that has no color code on it, which is the white or the black. Take your white and do the same thing and your black. Now then, what you could do in this next step, go ahead and tuck all these wires inside your box. Okay, once you got the wires tucked in your box, go ahead and get your mounting screw, put it through the front side, and let it drop all the way through. Then you're going to take your screwdriver and then help it hold in for a second. Alright, now you got it, uh, your mounting screw coming out. Go ahead and put your gasket onto that mounting screw. There's a little hole in the center that will uh, match up with your mounting screw. Make sure your wires are still going through that bottom hole there. Now take this mounting screw and uh, screw it into that center hole where the nipple is facing in. That's where you want this mounting screw screwed into. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, once that is completed, go ahead and take your little white cap, move these lights out of the way, and put it right there where the screw hole was at. Now then, Installation is done. Pretty simple, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and turn your lights. Adjust your sensor. And there you go. Now, all thing next left to do is go ahead at the bottom. You got your timer on here and your sensitivity. Go ahead and set those. Adjust your lights where you want them at. And at night time, you're ready to go. Turn your power on, and as soon as you walk in front of it, it'll come on. Alright, there we go. Went ahead and got it installed. Now let's go ahead and see the actual real-time use of this light at night time. See how it works. And so let's see how the brightness is. Alright. Okay, last night I actually had the lights facing down and with the motion sensor facing down because I just want to get where I'm going to be parking my truck at and not any place else. But if you want to have it with the light shining farther out, you can pick the lights up. But as you can tell, mine are actually facing down and kind of like at an angle to get a little wide area here. Alright, but yeah, as you can see last night, these are very bright lights. They are LEDs, and they even have a brighter one than this. If you want that, uh, there'll be links in the description box where you can go to their uh, Amazon store, and you can get these lights and many others. Alright, well, my name is Shane, and this is Shane's Hobby Shop. We'll see you next time.